I'm going to tell you a couple of really, really good stories first. Um, let me tell you about the uh, kid in, um, in Colorado. Jaden is a 12-year-old boy. He attends Vanguard School, Colorado Springs, Colorado. He's, he's in this video. I, you may have seen it. It went viral on social media. It shows he and his mom confronting a school board administrator, uh, administrator who says that he has to take the Gadsden flag patch off of his backpack because it's too disruptive. And they're like, it's too disruptive. What are you talking about? It's too disruptive. We don't want the flag displayed in school because of its origins with slavery and the slave trade. Now, I'm just trying to figure that one out historically. I mean, I I can't, I don't know. Don't tread on me. How does that relate to the slave trade at all? Okay, it doesn't. It clearly doesn't. And these are the kind of boobs that we have running our schools. All right. They have no idea what they're even talking about. Now, Jaden, who is kicked out of class for having the patch, says, this, 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 no, there's no origins of slavery. This 12-year-old, no origins of slavery. And uh, the school's director says, well, this is being very disruptive in the school environment. So they removed him from class. Mom fought back against it explaining the coiled snake above the phrase don't tread on me is not a pro-slavery image it has origins in the revolutionary war it was a symbol of resistance to british tyranny i'm free don't tread on me so you could say it's actually an anti-slavery if you want to talk about slavery it would be anti-slavery because it came from the north, it came from uh, New England. New England had already banned slavery. But it's not about that at all. It's not. It's about the British tyranny. Don't tread on me. So now all these experts are like, no, it's not. It's, uh, it's, it's slavery. It's slavery. And it's connected to patriot groups. Okay. 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 All right. So, wait, the flag chose to be part of a patriot group? The flag's like, the snake's like, I got it, I got it, I I just love white people. Is that what happened? Jeez. Libertarians have adapted this. Lefty groups, a pro-LGBT group has adopted it as well. It's really nothing to do with a snake. The snake was sewn on. Or printed on. I don't know if you... It's kind of like a gun. The gun didn't make the decision. The person did. So, this is, uh, this is a flag that's already gone through the government. EEOC. They were like... Oh, it's a, you know, it's a. Somebody was, was suing because the Gadsden flag is... Slavery! EEOC said, yeah, no, it's, it's not a racist symbol. Okay, so the EEOC, I don't think I've ever agreed with anything the EEOC has ever done. So the ruling has come out. The school cannot discriminate against uh, Jaden's viewpoint by declaring that this is just, uh, you know, a racist symbol and one that will be disruptive. Even the governor of Colorado, a Democrat, said the Gadsden flag is a proud symbol of American revolution and an iconic warning to Britain or any government not to violate the liberties of Americans. Yeah, it's almost like it's appropriate today when they're telling you you can't speak out at the school board meeting. And that don't tread on me seems like a pretty good motto. Or when they're telling you, stay at home, you're killing every grandmother on the planet, wear this mask. Could I have the don't tread on me flag on the mask? Could I do that? That would be weird. I wonder if you put a mask and the don't tread on me flag together, if they cancel each other out and disappear. Most people don't know that the snake was really an important signal, a, a symbol for our founders. The snake and the skull. The skull usually would have a crown a- above it, and it represented no king but God. The king dies, and he becomes a skeleton. 
So no king but God. The snake was selected because it doesn't want to bite you. It's just sitting there in the grass. It's like sunning itself. It's like, ah, the sun is so great. And you come walking along. Da, 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 and what does it do? It doesn't sneak up on you and bite you. It rattles. Stop where you are. I mean, I have a, I have a ranch. Rattlesnakes everywhere. I kind of like it because it's extra security. Go ahead. Come across that field. Do it. Rattlesnakes everywhere. Now, if you're smart, you're paying attention. It was like booby traps. But these booby traps, they actually rattle before they bite. Stay away from me. Don't walk on me or I'll bite. That's why our founders loved it. It wasn't an aggressive thing. Well, I mean, if you're a mouse, but if you're a human, it's not an aggressive thing. It's minding its own business. You know, there's a, the very first political cartoon ever done in America was done by Benjamin Franklin, and it was a rattlesnake. And it looks pretty much like that snake on Don't Tread on Me. It was a rattlesnake, and it was cut into 13 pieces. And it had on each piece each state or each colony. And underneath, it just said, unite or die. Meaning we could all go our own separate ways. The king will cut us up. We'll help him. Or, uh, or we could join together and live. I bring this up because, by the way, the kid who is fantastic. I love this kid. This kid, by the way, his favorite book is the creature from Jekyll Island by the Tuttle Twins. Love this kid, okay? He knows what he's talking about. He's back in school with the flag on his backpack today. Congratulations. Now, I see a lot of things that are happening at the state level, even in, in uh, states like Colorado. Colorado just put in their, um, uh, in their, in their house... Colorado, Coloradians, Colorado, 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 people from Colorado decided that they really thought this teacher who is a Marxist and wants a Mao-like um, uh, cultural revolution. He talks about an aggressive cultural revolution. That's code for Mao. They just elected him and put him in the house. Okay, it's their state. You can do it. You also have people like this. Now, the question is, and I mean this sincerely. The time is coming when we are in real trouble, real trouble. I don't know if you saw Tucker on X yesterday. He did an interview with um, Victor Orban from Hungary. Okay, that's a little frightening. Victor Orban's like, yeah, yeah, World War III. Everybody here knows Ukraine is losing. There's no way to win. You got to make peace right now because the only thing you can do is start sending boots on the ground to help them because they're out. You do that, it's World War III. You start sending the jets over and everything else, World War III. He'll use a nuke. He will. You should probably trust the people who have been taken by the former Soviet Union and have lived next to Russia our whole existence. You should probably listen to us. I mean, there's an ocean between you and us. You know, you may not know what's best. I think he's right on that. But as tough times come and you live, if you live in Washington, D.C., there's no way you get a fair trial. No way. I think if you live in New York City, there's no way you get a fair trial. If it's political, if you're like, uh, yeah, my child is my child, not your child. They're not going to get a sex change. No, you're not going to get a fair trial. California, do you really think? 
Now, things are changing, for instance, in Washington, D.C. I don't know if you've seen the climate activists that have glued themselves to the roadway again. Honestly, I just think, did you see the, I think it was in New Mexico, but it was on the native side. I think it was on the Navajo Nation. You know, Burning Man was happening, and these dopes just blocked traffic, and traffic was blocked forever. And they were on the Navajo side. So the Navajo Rangers came. They just took their truck and went through the blockade and then turned around and started going. And the kids were like, they can't do that. What are they doing? We're not violent. Well, you can't. And the guy gets out of the truck with his gun. And he's like, get down on the ground right now. And he's aggressive. Yeah, he's aggressive. And these hippies are like, oh, you, you, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're in a different country. You don't think you are, but you are. You're in the Navajo Nation now, and they don't play by the same rules. In Washington, D.C., all of these climate activists were out, and uh, uh, people were blocked. Now, this has happened two days in the last two weeks. People are blocked. For like an hour, two hours. They're just blocked. And they're getting out of their cars. And they are starting to accost these people. And they're like, what do you think you're doing? I have a house payment. I have a car payment. I'm raising kids. I'm trying to feed my family. Get the hell out of the street. And it's getting ugly. It's getting really ugly. The people, the good news is, I think the people have had enough of this. They've had enough. For that to happen even in Washington, D.C., that's interesting. So now they, I don't know, they, they, they took a chisel and got the head guy's hand, you know, uh, off of the concrete. But they were all arrested. They'll be back because they think they're Martin Luther King. So they'll be back. But the question is, which way is your state going? And should we consider, because I know I have, I moved to Texas for a reason. I have a ranch in Idaho for a reason. I bet on two states. There's other states that I'm sure might, you know, actually stand to. And these two states might eventually fall. I don't know. But I bet on two states. I didn't want to be in New York. Those people will eat you. They will. It's going to get very, when, when there's no food and, you know, because of, you know, the Green New Deal, when uh, all of that wind power is producing all the electricity that it's supposed to uh, produce and nobody has any power and you're in Washington, D.C. and you're in a skyscraper 55, 60 stories tall with people in it and their children and they're all hungry. I don't know. I don't know. Some new recipes might be tried out. I'm just saying. Or do we stay in those places because we know that our founder said, unite or die? And what we're doing is we're separating ourselves. I, I, I don't have an answer for this. I really don't. I'm, I'm really struggling with this. Do we unite or do we separate? Do we balkanize? Bad idea. But is it the only idea? I don't know. Because I got to tell you, I'll never go to Washington, D.C. Never again. Because I know if I'm arrested for some political reason, I'll never get a fair trial. Never. Never. That's not good. 